what is up guys Loki here back at it again with another youtube video it's another reaction i really want to react to this because i can relate <laughs> i can relate to this i've seen just just i've seen about a minute and i, I was like yo i i have to react to this fully because i if you if you've experienced this just know you're not alone and you are not crazy people called me a conspiracy theorist about withering waves they said i was a blasphemer i was a liar but i was right <laughs> i was right about the ping now this might seem crazy i might seem kooky but i noticed very early on there is something wrong with the servers of this game and the inputs of this game and i was right at least other people are starting to come to light and bring there's also that weird thing in wuwa where if you lock on during a hologram boss fight it'll lock on to something across the map drove me insane these things to light and talk about them now i understand that wuthering waves has some amazing things but the combat is so punishing that if you miss a dodge you can take some incredible amounts of damage or even get one shot so mm -hmm. pressing the button and the button not registering and doing the dodge feels bad and i noticed it over and over again and people were like oh you just missed your dodge no i didn't no i didn't i pressed the button i know in my soul i pressed that button and i didn't dodge now i want to preface this clip i'm about to show you because it's a completely different game but i used to be a very competitive shooter player back in high school i would go and i would travel around and play uh, in halo 3 tournaments i'd play online i was a very high ranked gamer and then i got yeah. old but <laughs> then I got old as crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't know him touch computer in Halo 3, but I've computed in Halo 3. Um, I got semi pro in Halo 3. Well, like, what <laughs> he's about to preface this with Shroud. I, I know exactly where this is going. So, hold on, hold on, let me move, let me move, let me move. One thing I do, I do want to bring up is I used to play Genshin, right? And I would stream Genshin which is more input lag because I'm streaming on a single PC setup, which adds more to your input lag, which is why people recommend a two PC setup. Not everyone can afford a two PC setup. Now, I do know some of the people that are sub to my channel are EU. So I, you, you guys can relate to me. If you if you played Genshin Impact and you and you were in the spy, more specifically the Spiral Abyss, right? That ping at the top means everything. There have been times where I've ulted for iframes and I've died in my ult through the iframes, like I've died through them. It's so annoying. Or I've dodged and that shit just didn't come out. <laughs> and then I go back and I clear easily off stream, right? I've had to reset so many times due to like just the game not working or just high, or, or just ping. It's so annoying. It is so annoying. And I don't even have super high ping. It's, my ping's less than 100. My ping in, in Genshin Impact when I used to play was like 40. It was like 40. But that coupled with streaming, creating a lot of input lag, plus I primarily play on controller, which is even more input lag things not coming out is so annoying it's so annoying <laughs> but let's let's watch this clip but i could tell in PUBG. all right this is shroud this is shroud okay michael is a great player his name is michael as well he is one of the best players in the world he's a cs go pro this guy is way better than me he is way better than 99 percent of people and he is decimating everyone in this lobby. But I knew, not because of this, but because of something that happened earlier, that this guy is not playing the same video game as me. He is playing yeah. with such a massive advantage because of this. All right? I want to explain this because this is what's happening in Wuthering Waves. And there's a whole other post about it in Wuthering Waves talking about some of these issues. When Shroud flies in here and he goes and he picks up this gun, he drags the gun into his inventory, all the ammo into his inventory, and equips it. 
But for me in Canada, I couldn't do that. I know that it sounds so stupid, but he goes like this and he swipes all these guns in his inventory, bop, 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 all the ammo, and it's in his inventory, it's equipped, it's ready to go. I literally could not do that from my Canadian connection because it would like drop the guns out. And so anytime I played PUBG, I would get frustrated because I would go, I'm not playing the same game. I so like, <laughs> I play Apex, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at Apex. You can ask any of my friends. I'm pretty nuts at Apex. I've, I've gotten masters multiple times and I've, I've hit Pred once. When I took the game super seriously, I hit Pred one time. Um, I have pressed Q on Wraith, right? Where you go into the void and, and you're immune to damage and you get like a boost to your movement speed, right? I've done that and I've died in the shadow realm. I've died in my Q. So annoying when you die in a video game and it's not your fault <laughs> and it's out of your control it is some of the most annoying oh my god it's one of the most annoying things that can happen right maybe i should have found a clip but back when i used to follow genshin a lot right i would watch like Zyox, right and he'd be like yo i swear i dodged there and he would die and his chat would like roast him his chat's known for like roasting him right i'm like no i feel you you dodged there. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. You dodged. Oh, uh, it's just annoying when people are like, skill issue, skill issue, skill issue. And you're like, no, I swear to God, <laughs> I pressed dodge. I know I did. I'm going to continue to let Michael cook though. I am playing a scuffed version of this game. I am playing a dumbed down or trolled version of this game. I don't feel like it is competitive. And that's the exact same way I feel about the bosses in Wuthering Waves. Now, there's another thing here. This guy on Wuthering Waves says, This game punishes high ping more than most multiplayer games, despite being mostly a single-player experience. Calcharo not filling his forte bar properly. I felt this all the time. I would slash, I would slash, I would slash, and I'd only have two out of three on the bars. Even though I hit the target, it would not work. If you use his forte gate or, or his ultimate and you're doing those attacks, it wouldn't fill the bar properly, even when hitting them, because somewhere in the sauce... In that, that's such... <laughs> in the sauce is crazy. That's such a tight window too, right? When you're in this alt and you have to get off the... Uh... The three charge attacks or whatever or you just press basic until it comes out but i think you can do it like three times and it's like this super tight window right like if you dodge then you're only getting a maximum of two um this must be super annoying luckily i don't play kalchara like that but that must be really annoying in the ping it would get deleted it just wouldn't register on the servers and the same thing goes with dodging and other things. Characters will randomly not dodge at all when pressing the button. The amount of people that just said, skill issue, skill issue, skill issue. No! It's the <laughs> game. It the is 100% the servers. I have I, I've played like on LAN. I have played online. I have played against some of the best players in the world. Where a t Dude, I'm telling you. Listen, listen. Tiny advantage matters, and I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I could feel in the middle of a tournament that my jump button had a tiny little grain of sand in it, a little, a little <laughs> grain of hair. There's a. Bro, I relate to this so much. Oh my god, bro. Oh, or if you're playing like, like back when I used to play Apex. I can feel like there's like something's just off with the server. My my gun isn't isn't like my reticle's not moving how it should. It's not as smooth, right? Like something's off about it. Oh my gosh, it drives me insane. So back in Halo 5 on console, there was this thing called heavy aim. You can look it up. It's, it was called heavy aim, right? And you would start a game and it would feel like there was a weight on your reticle. It would feel like there was a just a 50 pound weight on your reticle and you and and having to like aim with your right thumb was the most painful thing ever and then there were other servers where it felt super smooth every single motion registered and you could aim properly right oh my gosh this, this is something 
that's super annoying and like the better you are right at fps games the better you are at like just any game in general that has like that server side you can feel this you can relate to this you, the better you get the more you know like okay something's not right my game doesn't feel as good or as smooth as it should cat hair shoved in there and it wasn't quite activating i could sniff it out and i could tell right a cat away. hair is crazy that means that that's a very slight there's there's something there's something wrong there's something there's something super slight that's wrong because it's not as smooth and and i i'm 100 that way as well i'm 100 that way like again if we take like apex for example on dallas because i live in texas right so on dallas I get like eight ping, right? If I go to someone else's server that lives in like uh, New York or California or something, and my ping goes up for like between like the 40 to 80 range, I know I, I notice it. I notice it in every single movement. And I'm just like, okay, I. It, it's so annoying. It's so annoying being this aware of in, in, inconsistencies. It's, it's, it's so annoying. Way with the ping, there's been something wrong. And the other big one, one of the main mechanics of the game, is the parrying. Parrying with characters have short parry frames, like Kalcharo becomes almost impossible. Now, there is a couple things here. It's based on the animation a little bit, so certain animations are better. Verena, um, Gion, some of them have these crazy easy parries. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know if that's necessarily animations. I think it's just the frames, right? Like, I always find it really easy to parry on Donjin because her basic attack one is, like, really active. Or it's, it's like, I, don't, I haven't played the game in a minute. Uh, it's probably, like, maybe f five or six frames. So it comes out really fast as opposed to, like, you know, characters like Kalcharo. Um, but I'm loving my squad. What? There were times where I would sit there, I would I would watch that animation, and I would click it. I would test it, and it just wouldn't work. I would do it absolutely perfectly. I would go into the crownless fight. I would not even try to dodge. I would not you have any parry. music on. You I would sit parry, there yep. and just press parry, and it would not work. I could tell it early on. I could tell it a couple hours in, and then 100 hours into the game, I said, this is broken. This is not functioning properly and getting one shot by a boss because of it made me angry and other people just it's like they just called it skill issue and they would just call me a complainer but the more I played the game the more I would get frustrated because it's like this doesn't feel fair I, I did the thing I was supposed to do I should win I should I should I should parry them I should dodge I should be alive right now and every time it happened, it was this little thing in my brain saying, this isn't right. This isn't, isn't smooth. There's something wrong here. And I'm glad that other people are recognizing this. Now, there's one thing I want to discuss is in this post, he talks about pin. Back to what I said earlier, I wonder if Imtaj has a single or a double PC setup or a dual PC setup. I'm assuming he would have a dual PC setup since he's like, you know, Imtaj, but... If imagine if he's on a single PC setup that coupled with a Canadian connection, it's gonna it it's gonna provide a lot of input lag. Even even though he's on like MNK, right? He's still gonna get input lag through through streaming, because that's just what OBS does. If you're if you're on a single PC setup, you get input lag. Um, it's very very a tiny amount. And like I said, I know there's probably gonna be someone in the comment section that's like, I stream and I don't get any lag at all. There's always that one person, right? But it's like again you have to be good at games to feel it but yeah ping, 150 plus ping it isn't just that now i'm not going to pretend i'm a pro valorant player but i am a very good pro-ish level shooter player overall any game i play i can pull off shots like that even though i suck arguably at valorant compared to a pro player there are moments where my aim shines compared to the average person and people go huh this guy's cooking and i understand that in the world of valor i can vouch um M M Tash used to play destiny 2 a lot and i've matched him and i've matched him in destiny 1 a lot i don't even know what my tag was back on the console 
so many years ago but I've, I've played him in like trials and stuff like, he, like he's a pretty decent player he was he's pretty decent on console he definitely got better when the game moved to when destiny 2 came out um because it came out on pc right um and then at, well everyone moved over to pc it was on console and then they made like a pc port i believe and then everyone moved over to pc and i would say he had, he's way better he's a way better mnk player than he ever was a controller player but um yeah he's not bad he's definitely not bad i've seen him go, go crazy and rumble and hit like crazy headshots which sniping and destiny on mnk is just significantly harder than it is on controller but yeah he, he's he, he, he's not waffling valorant there's lots of guys that are great at aiming but i noticed very early on valorant servers suck being a canadian player it is so obvious that i'm at a disadvantage over other people that i even tested it i played against a friend from texas who's closer to uh. the servers and we filmed strafing out and he would strafe out and shoot me before i could see him on the screen now i understand that there's peaker advantage and there's going to be different things like that but we did a bunch of tests at different angles and it is insane how much of an advantage he had over me and so even though in the game you might not have 150 ping like this guy is saying here he's saying 150 ping it doesn't matter because in Wuthering Waves, I only have, you know, 60, 70, 80 ping on some of the streams or some of the days, and it still feels terrible. Because depending on where you live and the location of the servers, it is um, not registering inputs. In this video here, just tapping the button for this guy, sometimes it will summon the whole thing in. It would happen all the time with my- I've actually had that happen to me. <laughs> I've had that happen to me. Um, and I live in Texas, which is crazy. So I think- I get, yeah, I get 60 to 70 because of where the server's located for weathering waves. I don't know um, if that's changed recently. I still think I get like, which is like pretty high for like someone that lives in like Texas, right? Like Texas is like central. Like you'd think there'd be like a server that's closer, but um, yeah, I definitely have noticed this for sure. I'm Mort. I would try to just tap the herring and then I'd go into the flying summon mode because it would register as like a long input, even though I just tapped the button. There's all sorts of little hijinks like that where uh, you're pressing a button and it's just not reacting. Little things like that in hologram six will get you killed. It would get you one shot, right? So annoying. I swear it's so annoying. Properly, because if you're quick tapping and you're trying to do the multiple hit combo, because of the delays, it's just registering it as one single push. It's not differentiating uh, those buttons. And so I don't know all that goes into it, but I've known for a long time that Wuthering Waves had something that was just a little bit off, just a little weird. And I'm glad that I'm not crazy. Reading through the comments, there's other people that are like, yeah, no, I get this as well. There's probably going to be other people that just won't agree and call it skill issue. And that is what it is. But those are the trolls. When I'm fighting a boss, that can one shot me and I have to parry and I have to click it perfectly so that I don't die and it doesn't register. I just don't want to play the game anymore. Fair. I just don't. Fair. And when I play a game like Dark Souls or Elden Ring, when I miss a dodge, I missed the dodge. Yeah. I understand every time it's a skill issue and I do not question it. Yep. Every time I die in Elden Ring, I might go, oh my God. But I also knew it was my fault. Mm -hmm. The attack might be BS. It might have a crazy attack window. But I always know when I'm going to press dodge, I will dodge and it will work 100% of the time. I never, ever question it in that game. I have never even considered, oh, the button didn't work. Not even once. So, yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I am good at the game. <laughs> okay. I am good at the game. <laughs> okay um uh, but yeah <laughs> let me know down in the comment section if you guys experience this um just in it, it it doesn't have to be weathering waves right it could be any game if you know exactly what this man's talking about um whether it be an fps game whatever 
let me know if you've experienced this and share your own stories down below but uh video from him tash i, I can one trillion percent relate i 100 know exactly what this man is talking about i i felt his pain like i said when i used to stream genshin and there would be like like oh my gosh it was like after it was sometime after the way nut came out right it was the consecrated beast i think I, I think that was their name and they would like two to three shot you in the spiral abyss right and i would like die through iframes all the time it was so annoying and then i would end stream and i would beat it first try and i was just like dude it would drive me insane anyways i will see you guys on the next video peace